Yo, welcome in. My name is Sweet Phil, and this is Sweet Phil Media. I do super quick DaVinci Resolve tutorials with no fluff, with the exception of asking you to hit the like button and subscribe up if you like these super quick DaVinci Resolve tutorials. Alrighty, now I'll go ahead and get out of your way so you see the full screen so you don't miss anything. Alrighty, now how do you loop any song here in DaVinci Resolve? Now, there isn't a specific exact drag and drop type of way to do this, but I'm going to show you how I do it so I can literally loop any song that you got. This one down here, I downloaded straight from the YouTube music library that anyone can download these songs and use for absolutely free from the YouTube music studio to put in your videos and stuff like that. The first thing you're going to want to do, in my opinion, come up right over here. Click on this and down on timeline view, click this right one right here. This will show you the actually audio waveform. And once you do that, it didn't really do a whole lot, but that's because you need to make the track down here wider. Go ahead and click in the audio section down here anywhere. Hold down the shift button and roll your mouse wheel till it starts getting bigger. Now you can see the audio waveform and see where there's breaks in the music or see where stuff hits uh, harder, more bass, more of this, more of that. Now that we got that pulled up, we were going to want to zoom in a little bit more and we actually have to listen to the song slightly in order to tell where we need to make certain cuts. So then we can just copy and paste, paste, paste so that the song will just constantly loop and sound good when it switches between one copy to the next. Now, make sure you need to actually listen to the song. So I have listened to this song before and I know about where I want these things to drop. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in over here a little bit and we're going to listen to the end of it here so you can hear it. So you can see how I can kind of decide where I want to do this at. So you see there, that was the end of the track when it just ding, 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 and then it goes silent. Now, it's important to note that I already know that it kind of does that. It does it here. All these little drops, it does this exact same thing. It right here, it drops and then it comes back in hard. Right here, it drops, comes back in, comes back in hard. Right here, it drops and comes back in hard. So I know at the end of the song, it's going to drop out, and then I'm going to pick a point where the song comes back in hard, so it sounds just like all the other places in the song where it does the exact same thing. So we're going to go ahead and listen to it and try to stop it exactly where we want it. And I'm actually going to go right at this one because I think that's going to be exactly where. It needs to sound. I have done this a few times on this song, so I kind of already know if you're doing it for the first time, it's going to take you a minute to listen to it and figure out exactly where it is. So I'm just going to cut the end of the song off and scroll back over to more closer to the beginning. So now that I scrolled over and I'm going to go ahead and zoom out a little bit to give myself a bit of a little bit better look. I think it looks like right around here, the song starts sounding more similar to how it does normally. So we're going to go ahead and listen to this section right here and see if this is going to be a good spot for it to come in. right there sounded exactly like the part where it comes in after those drops. So let's go ahead and listen to it one more time and try to hit the space bar and stop the song exactly where it makes that, that drop hard hit. It looks like it's actually right here. I'm going to make a cut and then I'm just going to hit space bar and hear if that, that shroomp sound is right here. I'm going to go back a little bit more. I might've made the cut at the wrong spot. I think I did. I'm going to make another cut. Um, let's go ahead and undo that cut and make the cut right here. I still think it wasn't quite right, so I'm going to go back a little bit. Just a few few frames more. That sounds like it. So it sounds like I got that shroomp right when it comes back in hard on this particular song. We'll zoom out just to get a better look. And actually, I'm going to go right here and go Control-C to copy it. Go right to the end and Control-V. Now, I just made an exact copy of that part where I cut it off at the end. It drops and then it comes back in hard. Now let's see what that sounds like right here. That's a pretty good, pretty good uh, transition there. It could be fine tuned slightly, I suppose. One way that you can do that, come up here to audio, go to these crossfades, and you can go to minus plus or zero. I'm going to go ahead and go to uh, minus real quick. I don't want it that long though. Just make it short, just so it kind of smooths together, maybe slightly better. Now you hear how that sounds almost exactly like as if the song was actually made that way. I think actually there could be a little bit cut off the end of this uh, song end right here. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of that transition. And go ahead and cut it and get rid of that part. Drop it back on there. And I think it'll sound a little bit better. There we go. So the first few times that you do it, it could take you a second to get it absolutely perfect. But especially if it's songs you use multiple times, you're going to get used to it. 
and that sounds absolutely perfect. And you can loop this as many times as you want. Just put it at the end, hold control. Usually I'll do this when the video is completely done, and then I'll drop the tracks below it if it ends up being a 40 minute video, if it's an eight minute video. It depends on how many times you need to copy, but just hold control and hit uh, V, control V, and you can paste it, paste it, paste it, paste it as much time as you want to have it loop as many times as you want. And every single one of those copies is gonna sound absolutely perfect at the end. Over and over and over again. And that's how you can loop literally anything, any song here in DaVinci Resolve. If this helps you out, hit the like button and subscribe up so you don't miss these DaVinci Resolve tutorials. And check this video out right up over here. It's going to be a technique that can really help out new people here in DaVinci Resolve.